the the videos like in in part are really clear but actually because they're shot to to kind of to look pretty really it's not like a static it's not a teaching video it's not designed to be a teaching video yeah. so you can't see everything and it, it, it actually must be really frustrating for people at times because like the the, the lovely pretty close-ups sh- show you some parts beautifully but but a kind of in if you were if you were just trying to use them to learn it would definitely be a bit frustrating um at some stage i'll have to to shoot some that are simply a static shot where you yeah. can just see everything well, uh, a bit. well, actually, I remember I learned because I was, I was watching different saddle stitching videos, and a lot of it was I, I yeah, I focused on like your video because I and I sort of just copied what you did, like put the thread over and then, like flick it over. Don't know why it yeah. flicks over, but just flick it over. And um, yeah, yeah, I remember there was like some parts. It's like, well, like, what's he doing? Like, how? I think one of the parts that it was like mind-boggling in my head. Where do you know how you can get the stitches symmetrical on both sides? Yeah. Yeah, because I, I remember when I was, there was a point where I didn't like the, I loved the front stitch, but I didn't like the back stitch because it l- looks chunkier and, you know, and I was looking at that Lloyd wall. I was like, how did he get the, how did he get it? Like both sides. And it was like, oh, so frustrating. And then I, I think I, I managed to find a way to do it. I know that there's a part where you line the leather on top of the other leather and you, you, you get the stitch lines, like you line them all up. Yeah. And, reverse um, pricking have you have you come across uh right and left handed pricking irons oh yep yeah, yeah yeah i've heard them yep yeah. yeah so you 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 book match pieces of leather um to to to, cre- to create what you're saying so you've got basically an identical stitch on the front and the back okay. um in order to do that you've got to have a prick mark on the front and the back yeah um and uh to do that uh you've got to use a right-handed pricking iron and a left-handed pricking iron because the map the stitch marks won't, won't match otherwise mm-hmm. so you, yeah that's true you, that's true because they sort uh, of go like this exactly they'll cross yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so you've got to use a right a right on the front notionally and you've got to use a left on the back notionally presuming yeah. that you're a right-hander yeah. and you've got to perfectly line up the stitch marks such that when you're all goes through the front hole it comes out of the back hole yeah um and that's how you do it yeah okay that's yeah that's 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 good well, that, that's one of the ways that, to do it anyway that, that's that's the traditional classical method of doing wow, it okay uh because it's the you need the prick mark in order to to have this the stitch yeah sitting nicely on the back you can make it you can have a neat stitch line on the back without but you'll never get quite the degree of, of kind of the, the stitch sitting flush and looking nice. Yeah. Without without uh, the hole go- the hole going into the back rather than the hole coming out of the back yeah. is crucial in how the stitch lies. Yeah. Yeah, because um, because I don't use pricking irons. I did buy some pricking irons from Abbey, but I found yeah they because I'm not used to using an awl and it's yeah. I find that they were. They were too little, the the little the pricks that you put in. So I just used a normal... Yeah. Uh, I know it's, it's cheating, it's horrible. We used a stitching chisel. <laughs> they take the... But what I do, though... I, it's not horrible, but... Hmm. What I do is... There was two ways I was doing it. First, Firstly, I was actually um, pricking... Like, I was getting both pieces of leather and... and, and Punt, like punching the holes with it and just lining it up, punching the holes with it and, you know, glue it together. But yeah. how I do it now is when I glue it together, I'll just get my little stitching chisel and I'll just like tap a little bit so it doesn't go all the way through yeah. and go that all, yeah. all the way around. And then on the back side, you don't need to tap as hard, but as long as you get like a, a little hole that goes through the leather, it lines up mm-hmm. fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can do all, all of those kinds of things. Yeah. The um, for for a, a pricking iron like the ones you've got from Abbey, you need to use an awl. The, yeah. the because you've got the small holes. Um, what you need is the you've got a diamond awl, uh, which is as the name suggests diamond shaped. So it's like triangular on each side, and the wide bit of the awl uh, stretches the hole as yeah. you as you you push it all through so it makes a small hole temporarily big um so your needles and your thread will fit through yeah um so that's that's why you were struggling with it is because you, you um the hole was 
was too little. Yeah. Uh, so so uh, the learning to stitch with an oil is quite tricky, but yeah. it, it does mean that you can do stuff like that uh, much much more easily. Yeah. Is um? Do you need a do you need a smaller oil for it? Because I think I got the three point one millimeter. In like I think it's like the two point eight or the th- yes I think it's a two point eight nine stitches per inch or something like that. Do you need a smaller oil for that or a small smaller needle? Um. Yeah. Well, the the oil should be about the same size as the as the hole that the pricking iron is making you don't yeah. want to physically make the hole bigger you just want to widen it slightly so your needles will go through yeah so probably relatively small okay uh, abby will undoubtedly sell you one yeah so when you so it, when you do the, the 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 right to left um to make it line up is when you when you put the yeah. needle through do you have to flick that piece over Still the the thread over because when yes I... you still you still okay. you still you saddle stitch exactly the same as you always do okay um and the all you've done is effectively you've created a perfect hole that goes all the notionally all the way through the leather uh in in the saddlery world it's not strictly correct to make a hole that goes all the way through the leather mm-hmm. um although actually it can be quite useful at times. Um, yeah. when you're reverse pricking you don't have to do that you don't have your hole doesn't have to go all the way through because your all can go all the way through yeah. but what you have done is you've created a prick mark on the front and the back that match perfectly yeah uh, so you've got the two you've got the two the crosses don't cross they're exactly the same size yeah. or they're exactly the same orientation yeah from the point of view of the all if that makes sense yeah 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 because um because when I when I do it my way where it's it would be like that like that you don't have to throw, yeah you don't have to throw the leather let uh the thread over you can just go straight through and it, it lines up like perfectly both sides it could, yeah yeah but what you don't then have is you don't have a knot in the middle of your leather you've just got the thread crossing so yeah. it'll unravel more easily if the thread is damaged or something okay. so it's sort of to a to a degree, to fit, it's not actually saddle stitch, uh, yeah. because uh, saddle stitch should have oh, a yeah. knot yeah. Uh, in the and and there's there's actually there are variations of saddle stitch where you wouldn't cast anyway. Uh, uh, for example, if you're if you're stitching really thin leather and you cast, it'll you'll get a really pretty angle on the back and and a dead straight stitch in the front because there's no room for the for the knot in the middle to go. So it's, so it, there there are situations where you can't cast, and it's kind of being a bit to say, well, that's not saddle stitch, is it? Uh, but but it, it it is a weaker stitch as a consequence. Okay. Uh, so it is probably it's probably better to to do it with with left and right uh, pricking irons if you can. Uh, okay. But if what you're doing works for you and it gives you the look that you want, then that's that's obviously absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, but there there is a reason for the complexity. Uh, it's 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 not just people uh, making it complicated to to, yeah. to entertain themselves. Yeah, uh, it does it does work well. Yeah. Um, so, so so when the when the because when you said when you use the left and right and it lines up perfectly, yeah. is that is that no different to if you just punch all the way through with just a normal stitching chisel? It's it, it's it's a little bit different. It's okay. it's different in two in two respects. Um, if you're reverse pricking the the hole and and this is this is quite an important one the hole is going into the leather whereas if you've punched a hole or you've poked it with an awl the hole is coming out of the leather Mm -hmm. so that this the stitch will sit better because the hole is going into the leather okay Um, yeah that makes sense yeah and it's impossible to do that any other way than than reverse pricking yeah um the Generally speaking, a um, yeah. most of the tools that are designed to go all the way through leather are quite big and and crude as well. So you get a really big, quite crude hole. The, but there's there are there are pricking irons now that are designed to go all the way through thin leather that actually produces a, a hole just exactly as you, as you get from an all like the KS blades pricking irons yeah. produce a really elegant, refined hole. And yeah. I, I don't think there's anything we, we use. We use them for some stuff, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing that. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it works really nicely. But the the pricking chisels are 
typically designed to go through quite thick leather. Yeah. So you've got a whacking great big tooth that leaves a really big hole. Yeah. Um, and that then spoils your stitching because you've got a massive hole that you would have to use massive thread to fill and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So it, it depends on the tool. Uh, yeah. But given 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 the right sort of uh, pricking arm that's designed to go all the way through, <laughs> that, that definitely works. Definitely yeah. does. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense because, yeah, when you do punch all the way through, you sort of get that leather sort of like pokes out of the hole. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I never thought about um, that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if you... Um, what was I going to say? Um, oh, so, oh, yeah. So with the pricking irons, how hard do you have to hit it? Yeah. Because I remember when I was using I was I was trying to use them like a stitching chisel, like trying to just get it through the leather because the all was just a pain to use. You don't need to press them that if hard. You, if you're just... No, not particularly hard. It needs okay. to penetrate the grain, but not much okay. more than that. Yeah. Um, you, you, want, you want to have a, a hole uh, that doesn't go all the way through, but that you can easily... F- you, you should be able to find the hole with the tip of your awl without looking at it. Um, yeah. So you're, you're using touch to, to locate the hole, not, not kind of peering at it, basically. Yeah. Because that's much faster. You, using an awl when you're good at it is much faster than not using an awl. Because wow. you, you use it to locate the hole, and you use it to locate the the hole on the back of the work. Mm-hmm. So you you poke your all through, and you've got the blade sticking out of the back of the hole. Yeah. Uh, you then use your index finger and your needle on your left hand to touch the all blade, and then pull the all out, and then the needle just drops straight into the hole. So you don't need to kind of bend over and look at the back of, of the work. It just happens automatically. Yeah. Yeah, you've made me want to do that um use pricking irons now because uh because i've seen it, take, it takes quite well with the with the with the all is there because i have to, i just have like a cheap all it's not a heavily um it's not like a really good all is there is it night and day when it comes to alls like is it a cheap one good yeah, enough or it, not it can really be. A cheap one that you've titivated is is probably good enough. Okay. Uh, they've got to be really smooth. Uh, they've got to not have a sharp, uh, spiky point. Um, yeah. They've got to be the right size. Rather like pricking irons, if they if they if it's like a massively big blade and you're trying to stitch a watch strap or something, it's never going to work well. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, all those aren't particularly expensive. Really, you can buy blades from somebody like Blanchard for like a few pounds for a blade. Mm-hmm. Um, and w- when you get them, they'll be rubbish. Uh, but the steel's good. The design's good. You just have to have to spend a bit of time polishing them. And they're, yeah, they're absolutely fine. Okay. Um, but, but they've, they've got to be, they've got to be polished. That's, yeah. that's what really makes the difference. And they'll polish in use, but they'll be absolutely appalling when, when, when new, if you don't, um, and likewise for the cheap ones. But probably worse because they'll they'll be uh, rubbish steel as well. So they'll they'll be not polished and they'll bend. Yeah, is um is the polish? What sort of polish do you use? Um, if I if I possibly can, I buy them already nice. To be honest, because it takes quite a long time to do. But okay. uh, if if I bought like, and and I always used to uh, buy just like a sack of. Blanchard all blades. Mm-hmm. Um, you probably start off on a fine water stone, and uh, be, because it'll help you to keep the shape, because you don't necessarily want to polish the shape away um, and polish them a bit. But then I would I'd put them on to like a. We obviously we use uh, polishing machines for buckles and stuff. Yeah. Um, so I've got got quite a substantial head start in that I can just poke it at a polishing machine and yeah. and get a get. A, a lot of the scratches uh, polished out. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that's. But it of, makes a huge difference. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the things why I like about, um, you know, people who like you have who actually had like formal training in saddlery, because it, it, it if it was like with cheating, like people like me who have just picked up the craft and we've we've learned you know how to make items, but you have you know the full background of 
Well, I mean, yes and no, but but a, a lot of what, what I do is self-taught as well. Yeah. Um, nobody's taught me to make uh, watch straps or wallets or calf belts or any of that kind of stuff. Um, we do the, the 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 basics of what we do is is semantically correct, uh, but loads of the stuff that we do, uh, the Master Saddlers Association would have a blue fit about, um, and we're, we're, we're you know we're not master saddlers and we don't do, or a lot of the stuff we do, they totally completely wouldn't 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 think is the right technique, but it but it it just because it's not in the book doesn't make it right it just means that that's what we've had to invent in order to to kind of miniaturize and do all, all of that kind of stuff um and there's there's nothing at all wrong with with self-teaching uh yeah. it helps if you've got somebody who can teach you but 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 the internet and youtube and instagram is a wonderful resource and you can pick up a lot of stuff and certainly i have um and um you know if you if you want to do a particular thing and you've got nobody to help you do it then you you kind of have to work it out don't you mm -hmm. um and that that's that's fine there's nothing wrong with that and yeah. you're not cheating and yeah. uh, there's there's uh, there's there's good reasons for doing things in the right way and it helps to know that and it help it does obviously help to have some sort of formal background yeah. but but i uh, do not in any way diminish what you've learned by yourself because there's nothing wrong with that yeah oh no that's that's great to hear because it's 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 a craft not a you know it, it's it's th th this isn't well even mechanical engineering like a lot of people teach themselves and obviously you don't want to bridge to, fo to fall down and stuff and you need some formal education but you, you know you, you look at instagram and and look at how many people how many engineers are are self-taught and just make stuff because it's fun and they want to learn things and yeah. it, it's it's how making things works it's 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 how you learn you learn by making things so you yeah no, no, I think no, no, that makes a lot more sense, it, and it's true because when I saw it, when I when I was trying to figure out how to do the the symmetrical stitch, and just like you know you don't have access to that little clip like and that, and uh, yeah, you have to you have to come up with it yourself. Yeah. It's, um, okay, so it's, I'm just going back. Just so, are you sure? So doing the the right hand pricking iron, left hand pricking iron, so that that gives you that symmetrical both front end yes okay because yeah, in my okay so if if, if so, you if you look if you right so th this is your I need, I need things i i as you can see i'm not in a workshop so we will have to ad lib so mm -mm. so why is it when... well in fact we, we won't ad lib we'll use a piece of paper okay so just before you explain it, so why is it when you use a stitching yeah. chisel and you punch all the way through, it's on the same angle, you don't get yeah. that symmetrical? Um, you 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 do actually. It's not it's not as pronounced because the hole is. So re remember, with, with with a stitching chisel. Uh, or a pricking iron driven all the way through the hole is coming out of the leather it's not going into the leather yeah, yeah. when you when you use a pricking iron on the front it's going into the leather and the going into the leather this makes a big difference wow, um, yeah i've never thought i've so, never thought of that ever it really it helps the the stitch to sit significantly massively amateurish drawing coming up oh your camera you probably won't be able well. to see anyway oh is it yeah it's not. It's not intentionally off. Whereas... Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I thought I wasn't sure, so I just didn't ask. No, 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 no. Oh, there you are. It, it might. It might actually. It might not be a bad thing from the point of view of. Um... Bam. Right. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. So t top is right. Well, I, I, I can't. I'm not sure which way around I've drawn it anyway. But one is right. One is left. So if you visualise the them folding together like that. Yeah. The, the prick marks become mirror images of each other and and the 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 thing with that is that both sides are, are pricked so you've got you've got a depression in the leather on both sides yeah. so you you've done everything that you can in order to make the the thread sit nicely and that that's what gives you the symmetry yeah. um, if you were to prick all the way through with for example a ksb pricking iron you'd get exactly the same hole 
oh it would it would be coming out of the back rather than going in yeah. so you wouldn't you wouldn't get as nice a stitch on the back but it would be symmetrical in as much as well it would be angled and yeah, it would it goes, be consistent and it would be yeah. neat yeah because i know that it goes uh, but, from oh, sorry go on the, i was just going to say it, it was um what was i going to say uh you would always, uh, it, presuming that you want the optimum result, you you would always reverse prick if you are able to, as in it's multiple layers that you're sticking together, uh, if it's, uh, and that you can line them up. If it is a thing that you can't do that with, for example, a watch strap, because you'd never be able to line up the holes and stuff because it's a 3D object and lining it up is functionally impossible. You can't ever line up the lining with the, the face because you kind of make it all in one go. Um, you would have to use something. You'd have to, you can only pick the front, basically. Yeah. So you would, if you wanted as tidy a back as you possibly could, you would use basically a very refined stitching chisel, which is effectively a KSB or an Amy Young. What should I? Roke? No, Amy Roke. Pricky, yeah. or something that's designed to prick, yeah. prick all the way through which a normal a normal pricking iron isn't designed to do that. You can kind of you can do it with a Blanchard or an Abbey pricking iron in a thin leather, but it's it, they're not really designed to do it. And yeah. so what you end up with is you end up with a really fat hole because that that those pricking irons are like oh, that yeah. and yeah. they're designed to go in and stop mm -hmm. whereas something like a KSB or something like that is like that. It's very very parallel. Yeah. So you, it's functionally equivalent to an all going all the way through. Yeah. So with a KSB, what it means is that it's effectively creating perfect all work. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So I... it's it's it's. Yes, because it's almost like I'm interested in stitching, isn't it? Oh, I, I find it so fascinating. Honestly, <laughs> I because that's the thing. Because if the stitching doesn't look good, it just ruins the the whole. Product. It does, yeah. Um, I know. I, I just I love this. I, yeah, I love the stitching. So. So yeah, because if you do use this the all on mm. such a you know like a two point eight uh, hole per like per inch sort of thing, is that yeah. opening the hole too much? Because especially like the Abbey ones, they're they're so you know close to each other. Is it? No, I mean that that's that that's uh, two point seven is a number ten. Uh, yeah, I think. And no, that's that's absolutely fine. That that's for that's for relatively fine work. Okay. Uh, but no, that, that's that's perfectly okay. And like, the Abbey ones won't be designed to penetrate all the way through. So yeah. if you beat them through a piece of leather, you're going to get a big hole on the surface. Yeah. And so the holes will kind of look closer together. Okay. Uh, but but those are those are pricking irons, so they're designed to mark the mark the grain. They're not designed to penetrate all the way through. Okay. Uh, uh, if using a ksb or something like that yeah um you, you wouldn't well you, you wouldn't want to use a ksb on a piece of, uh, of bridal leather really it would be something thin it would be like a calf something or something yeah. like that uh but yeah the the, the the i suppose it's using the right pricking iron for the right task and yeah. using like basically if you want nice stitching in bridal leather you you need to prick and then use an all you don't really have a choice yeah. uh, because there are no pricking irons that are designed to be driven through four mil of bridal leather yeah. that aren't going to just leave a massive hole in the surface. Yeah. So you, it's impossible to get nice stitching like that. It's yeah. just there's no way of doing it. Um, yeah. So with the um, so because I know that with when you the thread when you go all the way through it goes from right to left yeah. on the front side and left to right on the back side. Doing it your way. You get right to left, right to left. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. You see, I would never have thought that ever. It's, it's some. Would you? No, the. No, I'm. I'm not even. I'm not wearing one of my watch straps, which is a slightly unusual thing. You might oh, recognize that. Yeah. Do you recognize that? Yeah, I like that. Is that from the video? That that that. Yes, that's that's oh, the wallet wow. from the, that's the wallet from the Lloyd coat wallet video. You should, uh, which is quite a cool thing. You should put that on a. You should put it on auction. See, you might get something for it. <laughs> so that this is all reverse print. It's actually because it was made whilst I had a camera in my face. The stitching isn't particularly amazing. Can you actually? I don't know how. Is the no? It's it's like is my picture quality awful? Yeah, it's it's, it's, you can't really see. But 
So looking at that, so that's that, that's aged no, well. That you're that getting wallet. that's aged really good. Yeah, actually, I didn't really use it for quite a long time. Yeah, um, it's only been relatively recently that I've used it. I'm trying to find a re a really good example because I'm I'm intrigued. So. No, you you you're you've you've got the opposite because the two the two threads are still doing that. Okay, um, yeah. it's just a clean old. But they're doing, yeah, they're kind okay. of doing that basically. Because like you, when you stitch, you follow the stitch lines, don't you? So you've got the two halves of the thread, yeah. and you've you've got them up into the into the two opposing corners of the stitch. Yeah. So you've got one there, and you've got one up, and then you you, you effectively you reverse to the next stitch, don't you? Yeah, I was making my friend a missile cover yesterday, a couple of days ago, and I found that when I was pulling it like this, the because it was only mm. one piece of leather, one one point five millimeters, the I was just having some terrible time with it. Like a thin piece of leather, I find that you have to pull. If I pull straight and do like a little yeah. tug, it will, it will, it will um, make it really nice. But I find if you use if it's like more leather you can you can get away with doing yeah that all the way Th through. thicker leather's way easier yeah. thin yeah. leather's really hard uh if if it gets thin enough you simply can't cast at all if you yeah uh but the there's loads of there's there's loads of variations of the saddle stitch for for different circumstances like that yeah. and um as you gain experience you kind of you work out a like well, you know what's what's going to happen in in particular circumstances, and you the there are lots of of little compromises to make um, yeah. as to how you want the stitch to look. Mm -hmm. um, there are there are it's always difficult if you want the stitch on both sides to look nice. That's that's the hardest situation yeah. really yeah. is working out how to do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking looking at this, and actually, I, I suspect I was talking rubbish. The stitching on both sides of this is is definitely angled the same, and this was definitely stitched all the way through. Yeah, no, it definitely is. I can't show you. It's really deceiving because when you when you look at something from one side, you turn it round to look at the other. So the stitching the stitch angle looks like it's different on both sides. But if you do it from like you start off from there and then flip it, so you're looking at the stitching all the way around. It is it's de it's definitely the same angle on both sides. Is it so right uh, right to left right to left? Yeah, that was this that was stitched by lefty, so it's 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 the other way around. Uh, but yeah. Wow, well, that that's yeah. I would never have thought of that. That's uh. Okay, so yeah, so when you're a left-hander, it goes from left to right, left to right. Because, you, yeah, you'd use a left hand pricking yeah. iron on the front, okay. so everything is backwards. Yeah. It gets really complicated and really confusing. 